not again, not again. Give please. Me one. Stop, stop, please. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Stay hopeful, dive into Hashem, and everything will be okay. You explained this theme with me bullying you year and you're not being able to do anything about it. Even though I was constantly being bullied, I never lost hope, and I continued to write, and I continued to dive into Hashem. This eventually led me to discover the strength I had inside me to overcome my enemy. The first example of this in Ruth is in Paragal, when Naomi's husband and sons die. Instead of living a hopeless life, she makes the courageous decision to move on and set out his life. At the same time, Ruth. At the same time, Ruth's husband dies, and she too decides to move on and accompany Naomi to Israel. And luckily enough, Ruth is able to find herself a new husband because she stayed hopeful and positive. And the final example of this theme is when Ruth learns that Boaz is, in, is ineligible to give them the land, and instead of complaining and wasting time, Boaz immediately goes out to find the next of the kin. In the end, Ruth settles down with Boaz, and they live their lives happily ever after because she never lost hope for a brighter future. If this theme were to be portrayed in Chumash or a Nevim. Instead of the protagonist saving herself, Hashem would play a more active role in helping Ruth. Okay, example? Oh, so the example would be, um, let's say, Amir were to continue bullying me. And uh, if we were to portray this theme in Chumash and Avim, Hashem would be playing a more active role. So therefore, uh, let's say something supernatural would happen in order to stop Amir. Like, if I were to just touch him, go he would go flying away. And that would be how God would help me in... Kumash as opposed to Katubi. <laughs> Oh! 